Okay. So you were attracted particularly to the fact there was an S1 electron there. Were you looking at that? I was teaching a, an upper level course in analytical chemistry and I'd be making my lectures more clear every year, but the students weren't getting it any better. So I had to say, well, why aren't they getting it any better if I'm trying to do a better job? And that kind of led me on the pathway to think about teaching more rigorously and to uh, actually start to think about, about teaching and learning. I'm just checking in. Which element was behaving like a magnet? How do you construct a learning environment that puts the thinking onus on students to try to build that understanding themselves? Well, so look at hydrogen. And you just don't set students free to do that, you have to provide guidance. So I, I talk about inquiry-based learning or discovery learning, where students have to do some of the creative intellectual activity. What it is. Who wants to take a shot at it? Dr. Bauer actually was instrumental in pushing us to create a new peer-led team learning group for chemistry for engineers. It's an awesome opportunity for students that they didn't have before. There's value in watching students work. So your role for any of your roles is watch students work. The whole idea is to make thinking visible and to help students build learning autonomy to become basically self-directed learners. Moving on to the next one, you're hearing a lot about take your time, what's the hurry? It was a step that was pretty brave on his part, but you know, in doing so, he's opened up learning opportunities for students in this area. It's also had an influence in terms of the broadening of this type of scholarship across the college. So it's kind of like we kind of realize change is happening and more folks are actually kind of getting onto this and starting to learn the techniques for managing classrooms in this way. But there's still a lot of folks where it's no clue. They're not aware that there's other ways to think about pedagogy. So there's, there's still a lot of stuff to be done. But we're starting to get to the point where it's kind of like we see these strong outcomes from doing things in a very active, student-engaging way. Why would you not do that if you get better outcomes that way? His work with peer-led team learning has benefited a lot of students at you and, and I think it will continue to benefit people. Seven pieces of information at one time. Dr. Bauer was able to expand the program into all sorts of academia. We have anatomy and physiology, there's everything from biology to chemistry, orgo. There's so many programs that we now reach out to and it's because he listened to the students' needs. He's very down to earth and he's uh, just a uh, an easy person to open up to. He's so level-headed that I think everybody appreciates his the, the opportunity to engage with him and kind of learn from his experience. How, do you, how might you help your students deal with a problem like this? What, what might you do? What strategy might you use? And I think a lot of people respect highly his dedication to students, his dedication to his uh, discipline. and. Uh, Speaking for myself, I'm just thrilled that he's being recognized for this. If anybody has any questions about anything, you're welcome to come down and chat. We'll see you next time.